Today we're going to have a look at Predictor XL. It's part of the Trader XL package and we're just going to have a look at it very quickly. To do that we're going to get some stock data. To get the data we'll use Bulk Quotes XL. What we're going to do is use Rio and the gold contract to see if we can predict what BHP's share price is going to close at. So first things first, we get the data by using bulk quotes Excel. Um, I've got the symbols here. We're going to use two years of data, so from 2009 to yesterday. And that's going to get the data and put it in different sheets for us, as you can see. And what I've done is I've merged that data into one spreadsheet over here. So we've got BHP, Rio, and the gold contract. The problem when we're dealing with this data is misalignment and there's some erroneous data points here that we have to clean up. So the gold contract was a little bit out in the dates because obviously there's some trading days where gold wasn't traded and some days where the ASX was closed for example. Um, so we had to go through and find those data points that were wrong and to do that I just used a simple formula as you can see here. I just said if the date here equals the date there then the cell will have a value of 1, if not 0. So I could then go through and fix up any any cell that had a zero in this column. So there was probably about 40 or 50 that I had to go through and fix up and there's 500 so the error rate was about 10%. Alright so we've done that and over here just to make things a bit easier I've put the inputs in green, outputs in blue. So I'm going to use Rio's closing price as an input or the volume gold's closing price or gold volume. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go up to Predictor Excel and we're going to build a simple model. We're going to put the training inputs in and then the outputs. Okay, so the training inputs we'll use we'll use all of these first, so I'll come and select them just so you can see. Okay. right down to this input here and there's a reason I missed the last one and I'll show you in a second and our outputs will be from this point here right down to the last one here. Okay, so we've got our inputs in there and now we're just going to leave everything as default. So we'll click on new and right here we can see the pink line shows BHP's closing price. This green line represents our model and if we start the training for our model, we'll just click start training you can see here our model is fitting with the data. While it's training I'll just pause it. Alright, that was very quick. So we've trained our data now. So now we're going to predict the next day's closing price. So we need our prediction inputs, which are down here. And we will output that this cell here. Okay, we're saying that given Rio's closing price, Rio's volume, the gold's closing price, gold's volume, what will tomorrow's closing price of BHP be? So we click on predict. All right, and our prediction is that it will be 4780, which is quite a way out. Um, I'll just close this off and show you. 
the actual was 46.45 so we're $1.35 out so really it's not a good good model to use but even if it was closer it still wouldn't be a good model to use we'll quickly just try something more simple okay we'll use the inputs from here there okay and now we'll get the same inputs for here as we did before that's fine so we'll make a new model and we'll start training our model as you can see it's a much closer fit and just let that go for a little bit while the training happens All right, so our model has finished learning, so let's put it to the test. We've got to change the prediction inputs to simply the closing price. The output will be the same, and let's predict. Okay. Did I click predict? Yes, I did. Let's close this and have a look how well we did. So 26 cents out. Now we got the direction right this time. So it looks like the simpler model has worked a lot better. Really these models are just toys, just to show you how it works. But there is some power with this package and you don't have to do a course in artificial intelligence to be able to apply it. So all in all, it's pretty good.